what would you be looking for? Someone that does something similar to you? That's or? a million dollar question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't think there is a formula. Like you have this idea in your mind, but, um, but you, you want know, someone it's, to it's run a, with it's you. It's a timing thing, right? It's yeah. like timings with different people. But then also, I think if you find the right person you want to make sacrifices for and invest time and energy into, you can make that work as well. Do I want an Australian that lives in LA? Yes, ideally. <laughs> That'd be great. Happy to come back for a few months a year. Am I when I'm back here dating? Not really now because it's like it's unfair. Because like if I connect with someone, then it's like, oh, well, I, I live over there, so I either want to try and convince them to move over there, or it's just going to create. It's just going to be harder. So I'm only like when I get back to LA, open to dating again. But in saying that, like, if you meet someone awesome and you get that feeling, you yeah. can't help that. Yeah. And so I don't know what that looks like. I do get turned on by a, you know a smart girl that's like got her own thing going on and whatever that could be though it doesn't have to be professionally but it could be they're passionate about a charity it could be they're passionate about having a family but like if they have ownership of what they want to do and like are so confident in that or working towards that I find that a turn on for sure